Hi, I'm Marcy Degman, the aspiring gardener, and today we're going to talk about how to change the pH of potting soil. Uh, the main thing that we run into is plants that like to have alkaline soil, because a lot of the soil materials that we use and the mulches and the, the, you know, the leaves, different things that we put into it, they're more acidic. So usually it's, it's wanting to sweeten the pH. So what we're going to do today is talk about the two main ways that you can do that. Most commonly, we use lime. And what I have here is dolomite lime, which I like because it has calcium and magnesium, and most lime is just calcium. So it gives your plants a little bit of nutrition while it's sweetening the pH. As you see, it's sweet soil. So what I'm going to do is just kind of give you an example of what these materials are like. This one here. Um, it's a little bit difficult to work with on a large scale because it's real powdery, but other than that, for this kind of thing. Um, what you want to do, as a rule, is put one cup of lime to, say, a whole bag of potting soil. It's not a science. It's not something that's going to cause a lot of harm if you put a little more, a little less. Um, it's really just rock. So if you think about it that way, you could put quite a bit, but that's kind of a good rough. Um, I'd say for this pot right here, a half a cup. Now, if you have a plant that really does like alkaline soil, you want to do that every year once. Um, the other thing that we can use is ash, wood ash. Now, the difference with that is that it's going to take twice as much wood ash to raise the pH as much as a lime. So if you're going to put a cup per bag, you'd want to put two cups of ash. Um, there's some things I do want to mention about ash. This here is from my wood stove. Now, you can get ash from your outdoor fires. You can get it from anything that you burn in. But what you want to know is what's going into that fire. Now, I know in my wood stove that the only thing that goes in there is wood and black and white newspapers. Those are non-toxic, and you don't have to worry about anything getting into your plants. But you never want to use ash that has, as from an outdoor fire or a fire where things that shouldn't be burnt in there, plastics, uh, wood that's had treatment on it, maybe paint, creosote. Um, you don't want to use colored paper unless you know for sure that it's non-toxic ink. So mainly you want to make sure it's pure. If you don't have ash like that, you probably want to stick with the lime. But this is basically going to, it's going to sweeten it. Um, so two cups per bag, one cup per bag of lime. And what you're just going to do is mix it into the soil. As you can see, you don't put that much that you're going to really notice it later. You kind of see the white specks now, but later as you've watered, going to kind of just disappear in there and become part of the soil mix. The only thing that might happen if you got really carried away is it could get kind of crusty on the top. If you put too much lime, you're going to have to break into the soil all the time. You don't want too much. So again, for a pot this size, maybe a half a cup, a little bit less. Uh, Per bag of potting soil, maybe a cup. You could use two cups if you have a plant that really needs it. Um, there's no need to really worry about a pH test unless you've really got a finicky plant. So today we've learned two different things that we can use, lime and wood ashes, to raise the pH of our potting soil.